Good evening. I'm Carol Williams, live in Moscow, Ohio. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. It was 4.18 in the afternoon one week ago, and about three miles right to the southwest as a crow flies, an EF3 tornado touched down with winds of 160 miles an hour. It stayed on the ground for 23 miles and came right through Moscow here, and there isn't a home that anyone would say that wasn't either destroyed, demolished, or damaged, and now it's time for them to pick up the pieces. That's right, and we are here again one week later to look at some of those pieces, to look at how people People are rebuilding to look at where do we go from here people have been hard at work as we have looked around Moscow and uh, there is clearly a whole lot more work to do we're also looking at how people can help how all of you in the tri-state can help and for that we're on your side tonight raising money to help in the rebuilding effort and I'm going to check back now with Tanya and Brendan in the studio to see how our phone banks are doing you know what? Our, fo our phone bank is doing great. Carol and Steve, we, know we still want you guys to call in, but we got some news to give you. Some really good news. Mm -hmm. One, starting off this entire night, the Scripps Howard Foundation gave $9,000 on behalf of Channel 9 just to start us off tonight, and there's more. That's right. We have nearly $7,000 already raised from you just in the last half hour here in our phone bank. Nearly $7,000. That brings us to near $16,000 at this point, and all of the money raised tonight will be be split among the charities, Matthew 25, the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, specifically to help the victims of this storm. That's right. The number to call is 513-749-9400. We want those phone to keep, phones to keep ringing. We're really happy about the total so far, but we have lots of people to give this money to and give help to tonight. All right. This is unbelievable. Yeah, that's an accurate. Uh, there's damage to at least 80% of the village. I mean, this is the firehouse, and even the firehouse lost its roof. Yes. I'm here now with Tim Souter, the mayor of Moscow, and thanks for taking some time to be with us. How has your family been affected by, by the storms? Um, we have minor to moderate damage to the home. The structure's intact, so we're able to stay there. I think emotionally more impacted than uh, from the uh, physical aspects of it. Tell me a little bit about that, about the emotional impact of something like this when you look around your hometown and, and see this. Well, I actually wasn't here when it hit. I got here shortly after I was on my way home from work, and it just, uh, people were in shock. And I, even five days after, I think there's still some folks just in shock. You look around, the, the landscape's changed so much. It's yeah. just horrible. Yeah. And, and a tiny town like this, I mean, what do you uh, call the population here? We're about 275. And out of that 275, did anybody escape? No, everyone was impacted. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. What do you consider your biggest priority now? Uh, rebuilding, uh, getting through this debris cleanup and rebuilding the community. Yeah. What would you like people to know? How would you like people to help? What's the best way? Uh, the best way now, uh, the volunteers have been great, the state, local, and other county agencies that have come in and helped during the cleanup have been great. I think right now we need to look at the people that don't have insurance, mm -hmm. some monetary donations, uh, and you can do that to the village, uh, the Moscow, or your, you know, the Red Cross, or the churches, or what have you, and I think that would be the biggest help right now. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Souter, and uh, good luck with the rebuilding process and all that you have to do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and now I'm going to check back in with uh, Tom McKee. He is reporting live from Pinder, Kentucky. What's the latest there, Tom?